Chicago's forgotten hit happened 35 years ago when Charles Chuck Merriam opened his front door for the last time. The hotshot Amico executive was wearing pajama bottoms when authorities say he was greeted by a pair of men who have been described to the I team as wearing Chicago police uniforms and they promptly killed him. His son now says police told him years ago that the hit men were each paid $6,000 to murder his dad. I'm moving. When Chuck Merriam's body was wheeled away on this day, November 4th, 1987, he was just 52 years old. A few days earlier, Merriam had asked his Amico bosses for personal security protection, according to his family, feeling threatened by one of Chicago's most successful gas dealers, Frank Melito, who held lucrative city contracts to service Chicago police vehicles. Merriam was implementing a controversial business model change, Midwest Amico stations being pushed from full-service gas and repair stations to self-serve mini-marts. He thought that, that, that the company needed to provide him some level of protection. What, when he went to visit with these people, is that what it was? Yes. So yeah. against physical harm? Against physical maybe. harm. There was only one person that ever came up and it was Frank Melito. Melito was tight with Chicago police officials and had connections to top Chicago outfit figures, according to federal prosecutors, who had enlisted Amico and Merriam to help put Melito in prison in 1986 in a tax and mail fraud case. It was against that crime and business backdrop 35 years ago that Chuck Merriam was murdered in a professional gangland-style hit. Suburban and county investigators tonight are examining some evidence they found here in Merriam's townhouse. ABC 7 on the scene that day, but the case and public interest would soon go cold. Merriam's son was 25 at the time. Tonight at age 60, Ken Merriam alleges that what actually happened to his father has been covered up for decades. Because two Chicago policemen actually, you know, they were in Chicago police officer uniforms, actually uh, made the shots. They weren't going to try to solve the case because it'd just be embarrassing for, for the police department. So uh, I actually felt that at that point it would never be solved. And it hasn't been. Although still an open case where new information might be helpful, officials of the FBI, local police, and Amico would not agree to be interviewed. Frank Melito was among several mob-linked individuals questioned about the Merriam murder, according to FBI records, but was not very cooperative and refused to take polygraph lie detector tests. Not long after the hit, Merriam's son says officers told him they had an idea who was responsible, but not to expect charges. They basically said that this cr crime will never be solved. These 1990 FBI records obtained by the I-team list several subjects and suspects in the Merriam murder case, including Melito and also convicted career outfit member Mario Renone and this man. Renato Ray De Silvestro, a retired Chicago policeman. It's Chuck Gowdy from ABC in Chicago. The I team traced former Chicago police officer De Silvestro to his home here in Las Vegas, where he moved after leaving the department in 1993 following CPD misconduct cases and allegations by the state's attorney that he was connected to organized crime. Other than a month-long suspension from CPD for bringing discredit to the department, most charges were either not pursued or dropped. Despite the FBI listing De Silvestro as a possible suspect in the past, he vigorously denies a role in Merriam's murder. I could not be in a uniform like he's saying. Well, you could have worn a uniform. No. No. Nope. Nope. You didn't do it. Do what? Kill the guy? No, sir. De Silvestro has previously fended off questions about crimes, telling the Tribune in 2000, you asking me to talk about a murder? You gotta be soft, pal. I'm from the old school. I'm not a rat. This CPD pensioner now tells the I-team he was contacted several times years ago by FBI agents. They wanted to start talking about the, uh, the mob, mafia. I said, listen, I ain't got nothing to say. So you, if you wanna arrest me, arrest me, but leave me to alone because as you know I'm carrying the piece and it's the wrong time yeah and then they were about me after that when the I team called Frank Melito's cell phone his son answered and said they have quote no interest in setting the record straight in statements tonight to the I team Amico executives say the case is too old for comment the FBI says it's committed to identifying fresh leads and the Cook County Sheriff says they will actively pursue any new information Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.